I'm going to walk through how to control events in Max MSP using Reaper, which is a DAW. First thing that you need to do is to open Reaper, open the options menu, and choose Show Reaper Resource Path. That will open a folder, then open the OSC folder. Select default.reaper, copy it, paste it. So you've created a copy. Rename that. I'm going to call this one test. You then need to open that copied version of the default OSC settings into a text editor. Scroll down until you find a section with time, beat, samples and frames. Delete that section, save the file, close the text editor. You can now close that folder. Open the options menu again, go to preferences, under control OSC web, click add, select OSC, in device name you can enter max, and I'll choose under the pattern config, the configuration file that you just created. Under mode, select device IP slash port, send only, and it wants to know the device port and the device IP. We'll leave it like that for the moment. Go back into Max. And basically I've got a Max patch here with a series of beeps. And what I want to do is I want to control those that series of beeps with a file that I've got in my DAW. Create a new object. It's called UDP receive. Open the help file for that object. And one of the examples in the help file is a UDP send object. We're just going to take the arguments from that object. And enter them into our UDP receive object. This object doesn't seem to be all that reliable when it comes to um, the second argument here is a port. And so I seem to find that you have to send it a message a few times. And the Max console should show a kind of confirmation saying that the um, UDP receive object is listening on a certain port. Suddenly it's working. So for some reason, sometimes you seem to just have to do that a couple of times to get it to start listening. So it's listening on port 7401. and it's set up with this IP address. We're going to copy those over to the OSC settings in Reaper. Click OK. So Reaper should now be sending OSC information to this UDP receive object in Max. We can tell if it is by creating a print object, hooking them up. And now if we just change any parameter in Reaper, it should be sending a lot of messages into Max. If you're getting a lot of messages in the console, then that's working. So this is the file in Reaper in the DIW that one, two, Three. that I want to synchronize with my max patch. 
The best way that I've found to actually do that is to use another track and to use the volume automation in that track to be able to trigger specific events in Max at certain times in the Reaper timeline. So create a new track, we'll call it Sync. And clicking this automation button and I'm going to click the volume track envelope. And now basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to create automation events. I mean, this is completely arbitrary. We're not controlling the volume at all. We're just sending data over to Max. And we, we're going to use that data to trigger bangs. Um, the reason I'm using volume is because volume is one of the few parameters which seems to translate from Reaper to Max in a um, way that is um, that where the numbers you enter in Reaper are the same numbers in that appear in Max. So this is arbitrary and you can use any parameter um, that passes through OSC, but this is the one that I found to work. So go to the point where you want the event to actually happen. I'm holding shift in order to insert a new automation point. Hit right a few times just to move the cursor. And then basically just drag the um, drag the automation point to create a um, a change in volume. So it was in on zero dB. It's gone down to minus two dB. Basically, it's just a matter of taking note of the numbers. And one way to do that, because ultimately it's going to be a a cell object which triggers these events is to just enter them into a cell object. So the first event is going to be when the volume on track two changes to minus two. Don't worry about the decimal places because we can filter those out in max. So I'll move over to the next point where I want an, an event to happen. Just do the same thing again. Drag the, pen, the point down. This time that was 4.6 that it was down to. And so in max, I'm going to enter minus 4. So I'm going to do that for all of the points where I want events to be triggered. Now, the UDP receive object sends out a lot of information, most of which we don't need. By further editing the config file, which we slightly edited earlier, you can filter out a lot of this information. Um, we can also filter it out in Max using a root object. So I'm going to create a root object, and basically we want to know um, what the um, what this data is actually called um, when it comes through to Max on OSC. So I'm going to turn on read mode in Reaper, and that means that when I now press play, this automation information is going to be sent through to Max. I'm going to clear the console window so that we've got um, a relatively fresh start. The print object is still connected. And so when I now press play, one, two, a whole load of information has been sent through. So we can see things like forward slash track to volume db0. And we can see that a little, a little bit further down, forward slash track to volume dB has changed to minus two. And so that was our first trigger. 
So what we do is in the root object, we filter out all of the initial information. So forward slash track, forward slash two, forward slash volume, db. And so now we're just going to be getting those um, decibel values. We're going to get lots of versions of each one. So zero is getting spat out hundreds of times. Minus two is getting set out spat out loads of times. What we can do is use a change object so that we only receive one instance of any of those. To keep things simple, we can use an integer number box to get rid of all those decimal places and then plug those into a, a cell object. So now it's just a matter of doing the same thing for all of the different events that we actually want to um, use as kind of triggers. Um, so this is just a method of sending triggers, like bangs, over to max. I'm going to do all of those now and see if it works. Okay, so that should be all set up. Um, as you can see, it's quite laborious and a bit fiddly, um, but this is a way that I've worked out which works. Um, and obviously you're kind of, by using volume and by slowly stepping down and using each change as a kind of a discrete number, you're eventually gonna run out of space. Um, but you could just create another track. Um, so you could start on track three if you wanted to create more um, trigger points. But let's see if it actually works. Um, so I'm just going to press play in Reaper and hopefully events will be triggered in Max. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten.